Hello friends, today I am going to discuss the introduction to Smith chart or what is Smith chart. So this is basically a Smith chart and today I am going to discuss about this in detail. So what is basically Smith chart? Smith chart is a graphical method to solve transmission line problems. It is a graph between resistance component R by Z naught and reactance component iota x by z naught or it is a graph between conductance component or reactance component here r is normalized resistance z naught or z zero is characteristic impedance and x is normalized reactance so in other words it is a graphical plot of normalized resistance and reactance in the reflection coefficient plane so it gives the indication of impedance at a transmission line as one moves along the line. We will discuss it further also. Why impedances are always normalized in Smith chart? I have used the word normalized. Impedances are always normalized with respect to characteristic impedance Z0 in Smith chart to avoid construction of one chart for each Z0. Therefore, normalized load impedance is given by Zn equals to Zr by Z0 equals to R plus iota x. I have already explained these terms that is Zn, Zr, Z0, R and x in my previous slides. Construction of Smith chart. Smith chart consists of two types of circles. The constant R circles. So these are the constant R circles. Smith chart is basically an impedance chart containing two set of lines. The first set of lines refer to as constant resistance lines form circles all the tangent to each other at the right hand of a horizontal diameter. These circles are known as constant resistance circles or R circles. Each circle represents a fixed resistance that is all points on a particular resistance circle represents the same resistance. For example, you can see here the resistance value for this circle is R equals to 20. So for this circle, the resistance value is constant. It represents the same resistance. The resistance values which these constant resistance circles represent are marked on the horizontal diameter at the point of intersection of these circles and the horizontal line the outermost resistance circle cutting at the horizontal line on the extreme left represents zero resistance while the circle cutting the horizontal line on the horizontal line on the right extreme right extreme represents infinite resistance so it is infinite resistance then resistance will decrease and here it is it is zero resistance so zero resistance means the current will be will be will be very very high so uh, can you imagine will it be a short circuit or open circuit side or will it be a short circuit or open circuit side we will discuss in coming slides coming video lectures also the constant x circles there is another set of lines called reactance lines these lines are arcs of circles all tangent to each other on the right hand extreme of horizontal diameter and also tangent to this line. These circles are known as constant reactance circles. The lines in the upper half represent positive reactances. Upper half, these are the upper half lines, arcs. These are the uh, positive reactances while the these are the positive reactances these are the positive reactances while these are the negative reactances the reactances have also been normalized with respect to z naught so the complete smith chart is obtained by superposition of two sets of x circles that is reactance circles and r circle that is resistance circles so here you can see a complete a complete smith chart this is the complete smith chart here you can see these are the constant r circles many constant r circles and having certain values for example 
12 is there i think so this is uh, 0 0.3 is there this is 0 0.4 is there these are the constant r circles and at the same point these are the constant x circle these arcs on the upper side these are positive arcs and on the lower side these are the negative arcs and smith chart is the superposition of these these constant r circles these constant r circles and these x circle and these x circles so smith chart is superposition of these r circles and x circles i will explain about this portion and about this portion in my coming video lectures so thank you please search our website winnerscience.com please subscribe and like our channel thank you thanks a lot